it's Thursday morning. Uh, auto saves here, taking the mix out there. We've got AD. Mark's doing the deep. Are you on the deep pollution, lad? How are you doing, lad? Are you finding it all right? What is that, that high vis we found in the car? Uh, Good lad. What do you reckon? It needs hitting down again, doesn't it? Yeah. Needs hitting down again. Right. I'll get that head now. Oh, we've got AD in the mix. Have you had the aircon again? That's because I said, I texted AD saying, oh, come in the morning. I'm recording and you've had aircon, haven't you? Yeah, since I've been waiting here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to get AD gone, but he's coming back for the steel engines. What you're coming, you're going straight back and coming here, back. Yeah, yeah. So I've got about 45 minutes to load of steels. Like, right. I've never made you a brew, have I? Have I ever offered you a brew? No. Do you want a brew when you come back? Yeah. Quid. <laughs> no, I charge for brews now. But he held someone, I said, oh, do you want a brew? He said about four sugars in it. I thought, Jesus, that is costing money. Four sugars, milk and coffee, there'll be a quid in there. I can hear your wallet squeaking for me. No, John's a tad. Right, we're going to get Eddie loaded now, get him gone, and he'll be straight back. How come you tense when you saw me put camera out then? Oh. Why did you tense when you saw the camera? Operation. <laughs> right, so he's netting it up now, so no loose bits can fall off. Because uh, the last thing you want is any loose bits falling off on the motorway. Who would get the fine for not falling off? You? Yeah. yeah. It's always the driver's responsibility for the load. That's why AD is the number one wind job. <laughs> Nah, he's not me, he's not me. Right, I'm going to pack on, we'll see you when it's back. I'm just tapping it all down now, but I'm going to give Mark the camera. Mark, this is your time to shine, lad. Time to shine. You just get a little bit of footage now, lad, yeah? Do a bit of a walk around and stuff. Doing a lot of juggling around. With the bins and space at the moment, so, uh, to be honest with you, it is hard work. And uh, because of the machine being on metal tracks, wherever it goes, it just destroys the ground. So I'm a bit reluctant on tracking it, tracking around it, or to come around here. I'm just a bit reluctant on tracking around everywhere because wherever it goes, it wrecks. Yeah, oh, we're in the way, right? Yeah, I think we're in the way a bit, aren't we? How are we managing them, Mark? So we're doing good, yeah. Getting on top of deep polluting, yeah. all that stuff. Getting through it all. So, done a mixed alley this morning. We've got a number one going now, and then we've got uh, AD coming back, steel engines. Then there'll be two Arctics tonight, so another good day. Thinking. Oh, it's up there. Can't get it all, can oh. we? Because John doesn't do his hidden treasures anymore, does he? No. Thinking a new thing. Marks, hidden treasures. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea, that actually. Yeah. Right, we've got another busy day down at the yard. Uh, a lot going on. Miles, how are you doing? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. How are you? Got getting it all deep polluted. That's the number one loaded. We're just going to net up again so no loose bits fall out. As I was saying before, it's the driver's responsibility. Oh look, oh he's spotting camera then, he's on it now. Yeah, yeah. You, you'll be famous soon, you know. No, I'm telling him about netting up, how you need to do it. Whoa, that's what we like. I'd have gone higher. What do you say, Mark? Uh, yeah. Right, Mark, come on, let's go in the office now. And uh, see what John both left to do, what you reckon, lad? Unless what? What time is it? It's work time, man. Oh. We're, working, we're getting content for people, lad. So how are you finding your uh, your first four weeks? Uh, are you enjoying it? Nice and busy, yeah. Nice and busy. That's what we're like. Yeah, busy. Got Danny here. Oh, his music on. That's all the 
Oh yes, nice. Right, Ryan's in, he's only had two weeks off, haven't you Ryan? Five days. Five days, right, what's happened? You've come back to what? Um, mess. Yeah, it's a mess, basically. Don't like that, lad. It was spotless before I left. <laughs> well, that's it. At least Ryan has got pride in the packing room. That is what we like. Right, Mark, you need to go and do your famous one line of it, yeah? Come on, just do it, lad, do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nah, that's all gone through. So the, the delivery address is that the one you've just given, eh? Yeah, that's up. Yeah, we'll just wrap it up. Right, so what's this, Mark? What do, what would I call that? What a bag of turd, lad. This, what a bag of turd, lad. What engine is that? Oh, the Chrysler engines, Chrysler, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shed. Yeah. But, this little minibus has come in. Well, yeah. You know what I do like recently? Handrails. Didn't I say that in the last one, Miles? Good handles, them. I mean, look at them. You could actually put them somewhere. It does appreciate a good handrail. No, but they're good ones. Like, you could put them on the entrance to the staff room. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm tempted to keep them. I do, I'm thinking the seats. I do like handles. Yeah. The seats, I mean, they've all got built-in seat belts. Exactly. They will sell, but it's just storing them. Very true. Just waiting to get a full-size bus in now. Look at them glass <laughs> hammers as well. Oh, where? Them oh, two. Having one. No, they're for smashing windows, them. Yeah, I know, I'm having it. Go on, get them both, lad. Go have you been going gym, Mark? No. Well, I, can, I was going to say it doesn't look like you have. I've got a lot of gym. No. <laughs> They're oh, on they're on a string. Like, oh, I'm going to get them with snips. Oh, lad. <laughs> right, what do you reckon then, Mark? What is it? It's a bag of turd. Bag of turd. Yeah, you've got to get lad on the end. It's a bag of turd. Oh, lad. Yeah. Oh, lad. my God. No, what a bag of turd, lad. What a bag of turd, lad. That's it. But then wow, you'll that get might, into it, but then you've got to go on my stack of seat. Keep it. No, but you've got to do the face, though, Mark, as well. It's like this. <laughs> what, what a bag of turd! Lad. You'll get there, Mark. You will do it. Right, listen. Oh, there's some cleaning stuff in there. Ooh. Look at that. About 20 quid. Multi purpose. <laughs> Tough on grease and grime. Hey, you use that on yourself, lad. <laughs> Bit of grease and grime there. Right. I think that's many be screen wash, but I'm pretty sure it's just water. Yeah. Might as well leave that in there. It's a shed, lad. Right. Get it bend. Get it in the bin. Right, listen, I need to crack on before literally someone gets cracked. So, we'll see you soon. Mark, he's going Tesco at break. Oh my God. And he's put his new jacket on. I knew he'd be doing something. Oh, wow. There's a girl at Tesco who's been flirting with Miles. She hasn't been flirting. He's coming with his Burgundyce I got jacket Tesco. and his new side boots. I got Tesco on every day with him. She's not been flirting with him. He just keeps saying I'd love to <laughs> Yeah, but why is he going Tesco at break time? Because he wants to f her. Yeah, no, you can't f on here. Well, beat that out. He wants to, he wants to fall in love with you, there you go. Yeah, that, yeah that'll yeah, do. Well, Are we still buddies or not? Yeah. Well, uh, you didn't text me back last night. You didn't text me? Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I said, buddy. You didn't. Uh, do you know what I've got you saved as? Oh, buddy. Well, yeah, he's buddy. Well. I'm going oh. to say you didn't text me last night. Oh, right. Everyone comes back at the same time, don't they? Right. Same time. Yeah, I know, but this is what I mean. We need to get it all unloaded. Right. I'll get you unloaded now. So Brad's back. I'm going to quickly get him unloaded now and uh, get him straight on to the next one. So I'll show you a little bit there. He's off to Halifax now for another full wagon pull. And uh, Chris has just come in at the same time, another customer before Chris, and then Brad, and now the ultimate messes are here. You 
You like the message, don't you? Makes you give him a bit of stick when you drive out, yeah? Right, for the bit. There they are, there. Look at messes here. You'll be, you'll be getting all ready now because it's in camera. So let's see what shed they've brought us today. Oh, I can see it's a bag of turd already. He's got his camera out. He's fast now. What have you brought us now, lad? Why have you just done your hair quickly then? Whoa, I tell you what, what can you do it for? You still on camera? GoPro, lad? That's all we can afford. You, you, you've got, uh, you got up there now, haven't you? Oh, you oh, we're getting there slowly. Have you heard my new saying? What is it? What a bag of turd, lad! Uh, Mrs. were laughing at that when we were editing video last video. Oh, yeah. So Did I'll you see, see the news flash? Yeah, that was good. That right was good, that. that. Get it in the comments what you thought of the news flash. <laughs> the news flash is actually for roasting people. Well, so, so yeah, might, you bad. might be in the news flash now. We're not good enough to hang around with these guys now because they're up there, you see. They're all with oh, big influencers. Listen. Consistency is key, my friends. We'll get there. Right, we're going to get this absolute bag of shed unloaded. <laughs> There'll be some turd in the back, won't Oh, there? no, it's brand new. Oh, my. I've heard it all no. before, Dean. It's a six tyres, that's it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, Dean and Luke, they are bringing us the cars. It's a constant flow, which is good. So yeah, nice one. See ya. So yeah, we're going to see what Chrissy's got. Whoa, bloody hell, Chrissy, lad! You can't be littering down here. Yeah. Bloody hell, Twix and all. Jesus, I can't afford Twixes. I get the jives. See ya. Yeah, you know the Aldi version. Right. You are. That, you're buying it. It's a shed, lad. Oh, Johnny's all over it, yeah, Dean. He's all, all over, over it. it. Get your wallet out, Dean, lad. Get your wallet out. It's actually suddenly got better now, Dean, did not it? No, price is going up, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was saying about two minutes ago, get it in the bin. I'll have that camping up in two minutes. Uh, Do you want to buy it? Yeah? all the windows on it. How much would you offer for this? <laughs> Less than what you pay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, what are you going to do with it, innit? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, we're bang have room. Look at engine bay now, that's meant yeah, to get in there, yeah, it? There's still a bit of sorting to do. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get these cracky palace off. Oh, oh yeah. someone, some mess up some from and robbed us blind. <laughs> I've just got rid of a lot of blue ones. What, for free, yeah? Never burnt them. Oh, <laughs> shut <laughs> up. I have. Has he, yeah? Uh... Right, this boot job, what did I say to you? I said he puts bags of rubbish in the boot. Look at that. Chris, Chris, did Dean put them bags in the boot? Oh, I'll tell you what, you're paying too much money. Full of rubbish, Mark. Right. What do you reckon, Mark, lad? Where Full of rubbish. Where did you walk about, pal? Where did you walk about? You know what? Where are you going? You had your sister's foot. You wanted the... You wanted the... What are you? Vinetti? No, I watched no. that video. Vinelli? They're good mates, they're they? are Chinese they? out the head, lad. I thought they are Italian, aren't they? Nah, they're, they're, they're from Chinese, built in Italy. You haven't got a clue, son. Listen, you had an old XL with no back One, two, five, no, we know. No clutch and no exhaust. Yeah. We're going to sort one, aren't we, Mark, soon? Uh, I just keep putting it off, though, don't I? I don't know why. We'll get just, that black white just, just don't just take the money and go and buy it. Don't mess about. Just get it. Oh, yeah, but I said I want to see him coming down the hill on the back wheel. Yeah. Sam, Imagine that. Black <laughs> Rambo. Oh, first blood on Rambo. <laughs> right, listen, we're going to go because I've got, yeah. I've got a C4 to scrap full of rubbish. Oh, no, is it a C3? C4. C4. Yeah. But he hasn't paid me for it yet, so it's still technically mine, so... Well, no, there'll be one day I'll pay it's instant payment for everyone else with Dean. Six weeks. Add one day on. <laughs> Just to keep all of that money. Right, I'm gonna get Ooh, the Chrissy, the lad. What are those? Oh, I bought him then. What do you mean, what? Oh. What are those? The Walt Simpson, what's yours? Mine are the. Oh no, I found these in the car. These are all right. Best boots I've ever owned. No, I'll tell you what, people, give him some. Give yeah, John some stick these. because I watched video of him yesterday and he's rooting for an old van picking old rakes and buckets out. He's yep. tight. Oh, well tight. He's tight. Right, listen, we're going to get going. Don't forget, though, Scrap Car Recycling. Check them out on YouTube. They're up to what you're at now. You're nearly just at 10k, just shy 10, you? hopefully. Maybe next week it's all a bit 10k. Yeah. And so... Then, uh, might get a bit of merch out, don't know. Yeah, yeah. Bang the merch out. With messes on it. Yeah, I tell you what, listen, you need to brand yourself as the messes. <laughs> <laughs> right, put, right, put camera down because I need to have some serious words. Right, we're going, boys. That means, that means money's involved if it's serious. See you in a bit. We'll get that in the background. That was actually decent. We'll get that in the background. Right, I'll be right. Zoe is not in today. 
It's Independence Day, 4th of July, and it's actually his always birthday. It is always birthday. So she's booked a day off. John, you can't go down. I know, yeah. Yeah. She's, I know, yeah. She's booked a day off on her birthday, and John's whinging. So everyone, get it in the comments right now. Happy birthday to Zoe. And she'll see this. I said to her, I've got her a present, and it's just coming from China, so it not turned up yet. Yeah, no, it might not. That's how, that's, we use that one every year, don't we? Yeah. I'll message her, though. <laughs> but anyway, Aid is here. For the is? steel engines, Aid, eh? Who's this? I'll just do my mind reading skills and check who it is. Right, he's back. The man, the myth, the legend. Did you have them sunglasses on before? Yeah. Are they the ones where you can wear the... Uh... React to that. Yeah. Bloody hell, he's on big money, that Aid, eh? Uh, so yeah, we're going to do the steel engines now. And then that's it for today, isn't it? Yep. So it's well, lift and go Where's my booby prize, anyway? Oh, for coming last. So Aidy guessed at the wire loom, 3.2 tonne. Did you like it how I edited? Bear you in mind you didn't put my second weight in. No, yeah. no, I only put the first one to done. To me, you look worse, that All one right. here, that's the funny bit. I'm used to it now. So, no, no, you've hit the news. I know. To get on that BCB news, that's not easy. You know that, don't you? not crime much. Yeah, yeah, you, you'll, be, you'll be wanted on there, won't you? Right, so, I'll quickly show you this now, of the engine been going, and then I need to seriously crack on. Because this morning I've literally, well, been faffing about, moving stuff, tidying up the areas for the wagons to come in, just juggling around a little bit, finishing loading the bins. Uh, so I've not actually processed any cars this morning, but I'm going to be catching up now this afternoon, making up for it. This steel engine's going now, so there should be a bit of weight in that. Reverse under it more! really like him dragging them too much because the ground isn't that good so it can damage the ground there but well, it is what it is so as you can see all these steel blocks I've not filled it to the top because it would be too heavy so yeah not a bad morning a lot going on right and that's that see you in a bit boys I see you in a bit here no yeah. Get this. <laughs> hey, no, Ben. We're gonna need to blur that out. This channel is clean. 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 You've never seen cleaning your life like. Mate, yeah, I'll give you teeth clean when I smack them in a minute. <laughs> right. So, do I need some? I need some gas. Go on, no, no, no. Oh no, no, Ben. What about I need some Ben? What about if, instead of his journey, do a here's I need some gas. <laughs> Go on, Ben, Ben, Ben. Ben, cameras on now, please. Ben, come on. Three, two. One. He is and he's some cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm going. <coughs> he, he actually did it. Go lad. That is what we like. You see, Ben. He's in a good mood. He's getting himself home now, isn't it? Oh, takeaway. Yeah. You've got takeaway on order, haven't you, Ben? That's why he's in a good mood. Yes. Yeah. Right, everybody. We're in the Saab Turbski two litre turbo. Uh, we've done one Arctic today, and uh, I've actually. Well, I've nipped home and come back to the yard. It's now half eight. And I'm back at the yard because... What pictures on your help screen? What did they just say? <laughs> Sub is on the cruise. Uh, I've come to the yard because RC Mark, we've got his new bike coming. The uh, I was going to pick it up and the actual person I bought it, I've said they can drop it off. So I thought, three be in it, might as well let them drop it off. So they're coming down now, any minute now. So we'll see what it's like. Hopefully it's not a shed. I'll take it for a spin. Mark wanted a bin what was it? Benetti, Benelli. Benelli. Ben and Jerry's. He wanted Disco. a he wanted a Benelli <laughs> TNT. Benoffi. No, Benelli. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a Benelli? No. Well that's what he wanted. I'm hungry. Shut <laughs> up. Benoffi. Right. Fancy a pudding now. <laughs> so I'll uh I'll show you when the bikes here. I'll give you a quick sneaky preview of it. And tomorrow I don't know how I'm gonna give it him. Put a bow on it. No, I want to surprise him though. Oh, why don't you just come down the hill on it? No, I'm tempted to, because I'm going to hide it. I might put it in the engine bay, but I might put him in the office for like 10 minutes, like just pretend we're having a meeting with him, set it up down here, yeah. and then get him outside. Like, and then I'm, do I say like, oh, cover your eyes? It's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> cover your eyes. But anyway, oh, but you'll be a surprise. And, uh, 
I think he'll be I think he's expecting a bit more of a shed this is a new bike this is a good does bike does he know you're getting him one no no he don't have a clue no I said I'll help him out with one he doesn't yeah. think I'm buying him one now I keep saying we'll just keep looking then wait, wait for the right one yeah so he he's trying to look at one on Saturday with me and I keep saying yeah we'll go and get it <laughs> but little little does Marky boy know no I'm only helping him out because he gets in it comes, no no he's a good little worker and he's keen he's keen as mustard I'll help anyone out and uh, I'm not giving him the bike for free because I, I do believe nothing in life is free you've got to work for it uh, I didn't get anything for free when I was growing up nothing not a, not a carrot my first motorbike we literally me and John did a bit of eBay buying and selling and whatever and we bought our own bike and quad but I'm helping him get on the ladder and uh, whether he works off the money or I might let him off a little bit I don't know we'll just see how stuck in he gets but I'm not gonna pressure him for the money he's gonna pay me when he can afford it now he's getting a full-time wage and it's just giving him like a bit of budgeting skills a bit of money skills uh, and showing what he can get if he works so yeah what do you reckon? Why do I, I'm, I'm, I'm really motivational now, I don't know why. I'm listening to your little speeches. You must get sick of him. Yeah. But I can need to stop doing that point. I know. Oh, he's here to. now. Right, he's here now. So, I'm going to have a chat with these. I'll see you soon. <laughs> he's just got it now. <laughs> no, what? There he goes. Right, so, James has just got the bike. They're going now, and here he is. <laughs> Bye. What's it like? Listen. Looks like never, it's about to change into the bumblebee. Never go on a motorbike with no helmet. I didn't go over five miles an hour just for safety reasons, but I was just giving it a quick ride just to feel, to make sure it's not shed. Oh yeah. Is it nice? Yeah. Is it smooth? Yeah. Does it sound like a bumblebee? Hey, what is wrong? Tell you what, what a good bike! Right, I tell you what, that's a good bike. I was this close to keep it myself. I don't think I can Honestly. keep this very still. <laughs> so I think Mark is going to be very happy with that. He will. I like it. I hope he is. It's like a little mini transformer. So in theory, Mark should be on the road tomorrow and he doesn't even know it. <laughs> oh, I said to him, bring your motorbike gear in tomorrow. Don't he said, forget that one. He said, why? I said, no, we'll just try them on, see what they like. Oh, did like, you? Yeah, and he's like, yeah, yeah, good idea. And I'm thinking, no, no, you're bringing them in because you're going home on it. <laughs> but when I, when I said, just try them on, see what they look like. What happens it, if he forgets it? No, he won't. So, right. shout out to Mark. He's been getting stuck in. Woo. That's it. Finish. Benito. <laughs> I know I said that. So, yeah. Day. <laughs> it's Thursday night. We're going to end it there. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> I'm chop that finger off. <laughs> Bye! Alright, so today, three ton is going to be giving the sport lift a good steam clean and a check over. There is a water leak on it, and I think it's the bottom hose or possibly the water pump. We've been aware of it, but we want to just get it sorted because we're struggling to have it. We keep saying we'll do it on a day where we've got nothing happening, but it just, we don't seem to get one ready. So we're gonna have to just bite the bullet and get it done today. But he's gonna give it a quick clean first. And then you're gonna be doing finishing that trim off as well. Yeah, finishing trims off. And then finish the finishing trims off up here. We don't need to do it, it's more cosmetic look. But I'm gonna be painting these sheets grey. I might even paint the container grey. And same with that one. Just to finish off the look of what we've got. I wanna move that jet wash, tidy that area up, take that old sign down because that's the old logo and that's the new one. So I want to be sort of getting the branding of our business more in the yard. Because a lot of people are coming down and they're taking pictures of that and tagging themselves with that. And it's not really the best looking logo in the world. 
and uh, I just want to make it look a bit fresher get the logos on the side of the buildings of what they are like engine bay car dismantling bay depollution bay packing room warehouse so yeah we're getting there oh Brad's back with the second car set off early again today so there we go Mini Cooper Stuart is stripping this Mazda what model is it Stuart? not new but newish what's wrong with it? it's a Mazda <laughs> yeah yeah no no what's wrong with it? but listen be a good little break at this so I know a lot of you probably know the system but for any new, any of you new guys subscribers watching what we do I mean the garage is a slight mess now but we do have set up for four stripping ramps or dismantling ramps and there's four bays behind the ramps as you can see where we dismantle the parts carefully and place them on the shelves so our dedicated lister will uh, then take the parts and picture them in these bays and list them on the computers and once they're listed we wrap them like this head this rear light off a audi a4 it's then wrapped just to protect it mainly not from being dropped but from scratching like if that light goes on its face like that without the wrap it will scratch it so doing that it means they can be stored not necessarily rammed on the shelf but it'll just protect them uh, and then we've got a barcode with a unique id number here and this this item will then be scanned into a location on the shelf where when it sells you know it's in for instance 2 AB or something like that and then the, the person who's packing writing will then be able to find this very easy because when you get to a certain volume of parts you can only do so much human like you get to start getting a lot of human error so this is where you need management software uh, John did say in one of the previous videos that we're looking into a new software and we're working very close with someone at the moment doing trials uh, just to improve it before it's actually released so we're going to be doing a full detailed video on that and uh, showing you the process of the transition of moving from one software to another and the uh, benefits also anyway I need to get on the machine I'm going to be processing engines for the next two days, which I'm not looking forward to, but it's very repetitive, but it needs doing. So I'm going to hand the camera over to Freeton now, who's going to be doing the forklift, uh, and hopefully he doesn't crack this lens. Yeah, we'll give it all a very good clean up there. Fucking back to its former glory. Right, well, we've got it all cleaned up now. We've got it into the engine bay building over here where I can work under shelter just in case it rains or anything. I'm gonna get it all stripped down. I have to take this plate off, all this parts at the top here to get down to the radiator. We'll probably have to take these uh, covers off as well have a good look at it all but we'll keep you updated with it and so that, that's give us a big access area there to the back of the radiator and so we're going to take all this off the top now and we'll take the covers off the engine bay so we can get to everything right the way across so we can try and see where it's all leaking from try and diagnose the problem properly right we've got all the top stripped down now all the covers are off we're supposed to take the pipes off the radiator uh, hang on before we do that though john do we should we crack it up and see where we can see it leaking from I would, that sounds a good idea shall i do it yeah ready <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, go on. Right. 
we've got the radiator off and the radiator fan off. Now, people were trying to tell me it's the water pump that's leaking, that's playing that. But from what I've discovered, you can see it's dripping down there. The alternator bracket snapped and it's not this bolt loose which has snapped that bolt there which is like onto a housing for the water system which has made it all leak which we could re might easily repair well yeah hopefully Drill. it's a case of jacking the engine up a bit maybe trying to sort these engine mounts out as well because yeah, we need it's damaging engine. the engine we do need engine mounts so let's see what we can get done Ah, another quick update, I took the alternator off, you can see down there where it's been leaking like mad. It all seems to be coming from the bottom of that, it could be though, coming from the bottom of that water pump to be honest. But we'll not know until we get it all stripped down and have a proper look at it all. Oh, keep going and keep you updated. Right, time has come where we need to uh, reveal Mark's bike. Mark! I think John wants a word in the office, lad, come on. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. Watch your head there, lad. Oh, right, well, you're going to have to do this, John, because I'm busy. Right, Mark, oh. we're just going to be having a quick chat about how you're getting on with work and that. I need to get his new it. contract um, done yeah. as well. Right, I'll leave it with you. What, are you filming it in here? Huh? No, I'm just showing what's going on. Right, Mark, you're right, aren't you, lad? Go on, lad. Are you enjoying it down here, lad? Yeah. Oh, do you like it down here? Yeah, that's good, yeah. Go on, lad. Right, I'll leave you to it. I'll bring you, John. Right, right we've got Mark hid in the office. So I'm going to quickly get his bike out now. And then, uh, reveal it. No one in the yard actually knows you. Know? So I'll show you that. Right, so, we're going to quickly, right, Ryan, we're revealing it now. Well, not right now, but I'm going to set it up. So, might be coming in. No, he's in the office with John. We hid it. He nearly saw it this morning, didn't he, Ryan? He did. Ryan actually got in front of the bike, like, what are you, what are you doing? What, well, you definitely didn't see it. Oh, you are. You definitely didn't see it. No. Oh. Oh yeah, you can do, Dan. Keep an eye out for him as well. He won't come down, he's in the office. What, is John uh, distracting him? Yeah. Has John got his seat on? We've said he's in a meeting. Has John got the CCTV on though? Mark won't click on anyway. Oh Zoe, in the top drawer, your drawer, there's a key. Where is uh, there's it? an envelope, Ryan, you just get that camera. There's, there's an envelope. Right, just a bit of cardboard or something. In that, in that folder, Zoe, the key's in that. Oh. Look at that, bad boy. Oh, oh, look at that. It's Mark's. Yeah, I got it for him. Uh, where should I put it? Yeah, it wants to be there, doesn't it? That'll do, won't it? That. Right. You might cry. Yeah, I know what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, he <laughs> won't. I'll set this camera up on here. Mm. Yeah, that's why I timed it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's probably best off there, isn't it? Will you be able to see that? What do you reckon? We'll switch it on and see if you can see it. Yeah, you can see. You do know it's on the dice now. <laughs> Kenny, <laughs> where should I put this camera? Do you reckon there? It is. It's going to rip his arms off. <laughs> He's just in the reception. Or do I put it here? Yeah, on there. Camera. Yeah, but it's a bit far away. Have we got anything we can cover it with? Yeah, he's going to see it in here. No, put it over. You won't be able to see it fully. Yeah, you won't have it. Oh, 
Well, you'll never know what that is. <laughs> no, you can't see it straight away, though. Right. Who's that, me? Right, we can't all stand here. Yeah, let me get him over first. <laughs> It's yeah, no. yeah. Back it's not 60 minute there. makeup. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's full sprinter in front of it. It's a van, you need a license for the car in front. Full yeah. sprinter in front of it. Yeah, you put the sprinter in front of it and then you need to drive it forward, Miles. Oh, this is too much. Uh, He's going to put the Yeah, but I don't want everyone stood there. It? It's not fair on him, is it? It's a bit awkward, isn't it? Did you get the keys away? Yeah. Pass it here. Let's hand him over that. You're going to buy everyone a bike now. I'll take a bike. Nah, no, I get that. I'll never know what it is. Oh, well, should I... Should we just leave it uncovered? And then Miles drive yeah. forward. Yeah, leave it there. I'll uncover the bike, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. knock it off, Miles. Right, does everyone just act like they're on the brake? I'm gonna go and get Mark. Oh, wait, we're not on our brake. No, we are, we are, yeah. But I mean, does that like your chat? I don't want everyone stood there. <laughs> no, Miles, does so someone say, oh, when you're getting your bike, Mark, have you got one or something like that? He's gonna say, I'm gonna be that to pick me one up this morning. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to turn this on. Right, it's brake time, just tell Mark. Oh, do you want a bike now? Oh, sorry, I'll go on it to Yeah. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, Zoe, when he comes down, just make sure you're nice and quick. Uh, not quick, I don't. Close. I don't think I want the pressure of recording. Well, who wants to record? Do you want to record? Oh, yeah. Not really. Oh, I don't want the pressure. I'm really bad at recording. Bomber, this is your time to shine. <laughs> this is your time. <laughs> just get good angles. Just get, oh just get his face. How do I turn it around? <laughs> That's it. All you need to do is get his face. Right, no, listen. Jesus. Listen, oh, just Jesus. talk about the bike and then you can record. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Is he going to Yeah. 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 Of course I do, yeah. Badly. How bad do you want a bike? I need it. I, well, I need it. I want it. Oh, yeah, good lad. Yeah. Right, come here, lad. Oh, it's letting him drive that, man. Oh, he's getting risky, isn't it, lad? <laughs> Pull forward. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Come on, Miles. Yeah. Come on, Miles. Yeah. Come on, Miles. Yeah. Come on, Miles. Yeah. Is that a nice bike, lad? That's what I've done with CBT on. Is that what you want? That is literally what I've done with CBT on. Is it? It is. What bike is it? A CB... CB125er. Yeah, lad. It's yours, lad. Thank man. you, sir. Have you on it, lad? <laughs> That's your bike, lad. Good, yeah. What do you reckon? It's nice, lad. Yeah. Do you like it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, lad. 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 Come on, man. Are you going to be red on that? Yeah. That, this is the same bike that I've done with CBT on. Is it? It's this, this bike, but it was black. Mm. That is an absolute mint of that, isn't it? Clean. One owner from New Lad as well. It Start up. it, lad. Get it cracked up, lad. Is it neutral? Yeah. yeah. Do you like it, lad? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's got all electric start. I don't have kickstarts, it's just electric. Two keys, yes. one down, five up, 4,000 miles from new that look. Oh, and it's got an alarm on it. Yeah. So all you need is a chain. I've got one. Have you? What do you reckon, lad? Do you like it? Yeah. What have you got to say, lad? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Go on, lad, that's what we like. <laughs> I know, yeah. I think he was just absorbed, absorbed. Are you in shock, lad? Are you shaking, lad? That's your bike, lad. Do you like it, lad? Like like it, like it, like it, like it I love it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, lad. So we need to get you some insurance on it now, don't we? Yeah, and you don't need to set off to work at six o'clock this morning. Yeah, I'll take <laughs> seven now, lad. Put some insurance on it tonight. But you see, it's a little bit of rust, like a bit of pitting there. You can clean yeah. it all up, lad. Yeah. 
But that's it now. You can use there that you to, you, to <laughs> get a car or a bigger bank. Yeah. Well, there you go. So, <laughs> what's that over there? Yeah. <laughs> it's an engine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the engine, Mark? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm bad. Bad. So, I think Mark's a little bit, Shock. what would they say, shocked? Yeah. Because he thought we were getting one on Saturday, didn't you, that black yeah. YB? Yeah. So, that's it. He's got his bike yeah. and uh, should be on the road in the next couple of days. Yeah. What have you got to say, Mark? Come on, end it with your famous saying, Mark. I like engines. Oh, right. <laughs> Till next time, boys. <laughs> Right, that'll do. Right, well, lad, how do you feel? Quick, there. Tell your people. Don't worry about getting that back uh, anymore. Surprised. Very, very surprised. I didn't expect to see. Are well, you happy? Yes. Very happy. So, what are you going to do tonight? Uh, put on my insurance. Good lad. Yeah. And yeah, to go, to go the pants. Yeah, you could actually ride home on that. Or do you want to? Do you want to do it all tonight? I want to do it all tonight, or I want to risk it. Yeah. yeah. Get, get your gloves. Get your gloves, lad. Yeah. Plus, I need to get my old plate put on it. Yeah. Has he got a plate? Did they have plates on the front? No? Yeah, I think so, yeah. 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 You get an L plate on the front and an L plate on the back. No, what about that actual number plate? Oh, no, number plate you don't need. Nah, I was going to say to It's you. a clean bike, though, nah, that. You couldn't have got a better bike for the money. No. That's that, that. Yeah, yeah. It's mint, looked after, Honda, it'll keep its value. Oh, yeah. Do you know, it's G absolutely G perfect. Always good. Always good. Yeah. And, lad, five, nice. little I phone holder there. Three. Yeah. You get your phone on there. All your indicators work, home. Look at the engine. Like, you can see the gaskets. Like, it's never leaked it's a drop of oil, John. It's brand new. It is brand new, isn't it? Like, it's right at the back. No oil on the shockers. Do you, do you like Honda engines, though? Yes. Yes. <laughs> right. Really, really good engines. That's what we like. Really good. What's your favourite engine? Honda. Good <laughs> lad. You said the right thing then. That's what we like. So, you're a Honda man now, aren't you? I've always been a Honda man. Why don't we? Why don't you? Get a tattoo on your chest there because your heart. Honda. <laughs> right, on a serious note, on a serious note though, Mark, we need to crack on, lad. Yeah, no, I'm joking. What time is it? Is it still great time? No, it's not great. It is. Oh, it is. It is. We're eight. Mark, carry on. You've been going, Jim, Mark. Whoa, he's like a knot in a piece of cotton, lad. Go on, lad. <laughs> right, we're going to crack on. We'll see you soon. All right. So, the problem was, the engine mount bolts had snapped and dropped down a little bit, which resulted in the actual engine mount piercing one of the water pipes. I walked straight through it, you can see it, so I'm going to have to replace this water pipe, try and drill out the bolts that have snapped inside the block, re-tap them, and get some new bolts threaded in. It's a bit more hard work than what I were expecting, but see what we can do and see if we can get it finished today. Get this stacker back up and running and back on the road. Without it, we're pretty much fudged. I'm gonna give it all the right good clean up and inside in here. Well, I hate working with all this thick oil. I'm gonna give it all the right good clean up first. Try and remove some of the sludge. See if we can actually get down. So that stud there, you can see it. It's this stud here. It's snapped inside there. But luckily enough, there's a little bit of stud just sticking out there. I might just be able to get a bit of a chisel on it, tap it around and unthread it. Saves me having to drill and tap that one. And get that one out. We're halfway there. Let's crack on and see what we can get done. Right, Mark, it's dinner time, lad. Are you excited, lad? Yeah. <laughs> right. Who, who wants to witness... Uh, Mark do a whiskey throttle. You're not gonna whiskey throttle. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it. Oh, have you oh, seen it on YouTube where people do that? Just make sure he's not inside. Make sure he's not in the yard if he does do it. Oh yeah, Jonathan. <laughs> <Jonathan's laughs> <Jonathan's laughs> don't, don't be going daft. Just get you. Just have a little go up and down. Yeah. Also, you've got a helmet here, Mark. So it's nothing not coming down here. Bro. This one, did you want it, lad? Just for now. Just Found that in the back of a car, but it's a cracker. Good little visor on it. Right, listen lad, don't be doing out stupid because you've not got a jumper on. Yeah. Who's got key? Send that on it for me. Right, so he's gonna have his first little ride. See how he how he finds it. Oh yeah, look at ankles on him, go on, lad! <laughs> <laughs> don't that, right. So he's having his first ride on it. Don't feel it the Alright. Right, nice and easy lad. Just watch out for them stones as well, the baby. Go on, <laughs> Whoa! Oh, 
Whoa, good luck. Wait, he's gonna <laughs> He's splitting off. Go on! <laughs> <laughs> That's it now, you'll never see him again! Go on, it's a bad boy! Go on, Pull a wheelie that! No, I don't. No, but that, that. I'll tell you what, it's not me! It's not bad at all, that! What do you reckon to it? No, I'm bad, that! It tells you off! Oh, yeah, it doesn't do Is it in neutral? It tells you there, that's not yeah, there. Yeah. It's Oh, well, that lad. Good, yeah. Smooth. Yeah, yeah that smooth, lad. Yeah. Doesn't it ride good, though? Smooth. Do you like it, lad? Yeah. Not one happy mark. Are you happy? I'm happy. Thanks, lad. Well, you're going to be on it this happy. weekend, going for a ride with your dad, like you said. Yeah. yeah. Don't be coming off it, though, lad. Oh, lad. Make sure you just be careful. Like, with bikes, it's other people what are dangerous. Yeah. yeah. When you're at that junction, don't think that all they've seen me, because you need to act as if no one's seen you. Yeah, And don't be getting silly, lad, especially in the wet. Alright, definitely. But all hydraulic brakes as well, lad. No, oh, that's a nice thing. Yeah. That is a good bike. I wouldn't have a sit on it. Have a do on it, John. Can Go I on. at least sit on it? No, because you might knock it in gear. <laughs> no. Can I do anything? Zoe! I can't even sit on it. If it's not running, you can. Zoe, you don't understand how dangerous they are. Yeah, oh, it just feels good, does it? What did you say then? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's bloody off, Mark. Why do you lean forward? Because <laughs> it's like, it's pure power, John it's pure power. Forward. <laughs> well, has he stalled it? Is it even on? Oh, no, it's on. That's how quiet the engine is. Like, well, I'll be honest with you, Mark. You nearly didn't have that bike. Because I drove it last night. Anyway. And I said, I'll tell you what, I might bloody keep it for myself. <laughs> it's smooth, that is That's a good bike. That's very smooth. Why are you leaning forward? <laughs> <laughs> You've been pretending it's a safer bike. Where are you going to keep it though? That's Outside? That's a mint up. Yeah, oh, John, the bike's mint. The bike oh, it's bloody dirty on the side, Mark. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, the oh, worst oh. <laughs> So you need to keep it clean, Mark. You'll be cleaning that every two hours, won't you, lad? Yeah, it's a sweet. Nerve, yeah, yeah. Zoe wants to sit on it. Oh no, because you might knock it in gears over. No, it, I said it needs to be not running. <laughs> right, that's neutral. Right, it needs to be not running. Turn the key off. Oh, bloody hell, I keep on knocking it. Freaking hell. Damn Clean, it. innit, Mark? Oh, yellow bike. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that suits Mark to a T, that. Yeah, I'll definitely be seeing on it because it's yellow yeah. as well. Can I roll it what, so, no. Have you, any of your mates got bikes? Yeah. So, what are they all going to say now you've got the best one? Have you got the best, best one? one. They call... Yeah. Sorry. They call me the Hornix, it's yellow and black. So is that the best one or not, lad? Have you got a good bike there? Yeah, it's a very good bike, yeah. That's what we're like. Are you like. happy? Yeah. Like how happy? Mega. Have you told anyone yet? Have you not done a few sneaky texts today and told anyone? Phone's broke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping you getting your new phone as well. Though. <laughs> right, okay. so listen, we're going to end it there. But Mark is now on the road. We're gonna make Why sure he's safe, bike, he's on the ladder. Oh, I know. He's Why just he's started right full now? time Why and he's already he's got life. himself a bike, haven't you, lad? So that's it, it's <laughs> onwards and upwards yeah. for Mark. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Zoe, <laughs> where's Vin Play? Oh, do the noises, Zoe. <laughs> oh no, Vin Play's been ground off. Go, Zoe, roll down, Zoe, roll down there. Oh, Zoe, you're gonna fall off it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'll do. Zoe, so so end it there. Mark, end it with your famous saying. Oh, I can just. I know sometimes life can be tough. And you feel like you just had enough.